Hi, I'm Lori Tucker. I'm a pediatric rheumatologist at the BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, British Columbia, and an associate professor of pediatrics at University of British Columbia. Um, regarding pharmacists and their role in helping families of kids with arthritis, um, there's no question that in many communities, parents rely on a pharmacist to give them accurate advice about the medications their children are prescribed, and they can be really helpful in um, helping parents um, get the correct uh, types of medications. Um, we have had some difficulties uh, at times where a parent will go to a pharmacist with a prescription for methotrexate for their child with arthritis and be told that methotrexate is a chemotherapy drug and shouldn't be given to young children um, or other types of uh, warning kinds of uh, messages are given to families and this is a serious problem because parents are already um, upset and uh, worried about their child having arthritis and having to go on medications and the very worst thing that can happen is that some other health professional that they trust provides them with information that makes them think that they're doing the wrong thing. And so this is often a significant problem. Uh, and I think that what needs to happen is that pharmacists need to get um, expanded education so that they uh, learn something about juvenile arthritis and what is standard of care therapy so that they don't provide inaccurate information when families uh, come to their come to their pharmacies. Um, the other uh, issue that uh, I was asked to talk about is transition of young people um, with arthritis as they move from the pediatric to the adult uh, healthcare world. And this is a very big issue um, because pediatric healthcare, pediatric rheumatology care is really different than adult rheumatology care. So we're in pediatric care, we all have um, team care, um, it's very focused on kids and parents, um, it's often a one-stop type of shopping where uh, people can get lots of services in one place and in adult care it's very client focused and um, you have to really advocate for yourself and find services uh, out in the community when you need them. Um, so there uh, is a process of transition. So transition starts when kids are young teenagers in the pediatric clinic when we start talking to kids and parents about preparing for this process. And then um, there are different models of transition depending on where you are in the country. In Vancouver we actually have a transition clinic for kids between the ages of 18 to 22. And there are issues that come up for kids during that time period that relate to their developmental job during teenager life, which is to develop independence and uh, focus more on peers and uh, rather than family and uh, education, vocation, choosing jobs, uh, developing sexual identity. Um, so there are a lot of issues and having arthritis can really impact a lot of choices that kids make. Um, so for example, there are um, particular types of counseling that pediatric rheumatologists and pediatric rheumatology nurses um, start providing to teenagers as they get into the older adolescent time period around perhaps around uh, uh, lifestyle choices. So talking to kids about uh, being careful with their choices around drinking or smoking uh, relating to their disease and their medications. Um, we talk to kids about vocation choices. Um, this is a very big issue um, because if you're a young man that has quite bad arthritis, um, perhaps working in the construction industry is not a terrific choice. Um, or we have kids who are on biologic drugs who announce that they are going to go off to travel in Africa for a year, um, which is great idea but maybe not a great idea if you're on biologic medication to control your arthritis and you need to think about those things ahead of time. Um, we talk to kids, uh, both girls and boys, young women and young men, about sexual counseling. 
um, because uh, the use of birth control is important depending on what medications you're on and the choices of birth control may be uh, guided by your disease or your medication. So um, there are a lot of issues uh, like that that come up and um, uh, having uh, some focus on transition type issues like that is uh, really important to ensure good outcomes um, for kids as they move into adult health care. Thank you. How's that?